Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Joe. This is my Python room. And today, I'm just going to talk to you guys about, well, a few things. Looks like uh, Charlie Girl wants to come out, so I think uh, she'll be joining us in this video. Hi, baby. Want to come out? Hi, sweetheart. She's so adorable. I love this little girl right here. Hi, baby. Want to come out? Hi, mama. Hi, baby. You can stay out. She loves coming out. She loves hanging out with me. Well, one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about is um, adding enrichment into your enclosures. Now, nowadays, with you know the prices of everything just going to the roof, let's face it, you know things are getting a little expensive. You know, and you might not be able to run down to the pet store and you know buy something like this. Or even go and get the materials to build something like this. This is a hide that I built. Okay. But what you can do that is super cheap. You have in your house already. And it's free. It's recyclable. Something like this. That's right. The little cardboard to your toilet paper roll. Or even to your paper towel roll. Instead of throwing it away. Just toss it right inside your snake's tank. Honestly, they'll enjoy it for hours, if not days. And don't worry about it, you know, absorbing water in, in, the, in the terrarium or, you know, causing harm to your animal. It won't. Well, it'll absorb water. Obviously, it's cardboard. But it won't bring any harm to your animal. It won't. I promise you. I add these. I, I toss one into my, well, each one of their tanks. This is every once in a while. You know, <clears throat> I'll do that. Or uh, what else I will do when, when I have to clean their, their tank, I'll rearrange the hides. Um, I'll take out an insert, put in a different insert. Maybe, uh, maybe something from Zeus's tank, I'll put in Nina's tank. Or something from Nina's tank, I'll put in Charlie's tank. Or vice versa. And of course, before I, you know, just do that, of course, I'm, whatever that object may be I'm gonna clean it you know because if say I take something from Charlie's tank and put it in Nina's tank well that item that object is gonna have Charlie's scent all over it and now I put it in Nina's tank Nina's gonna smell Charlie now that's not really gonna do any harm but you don't want to confuse them you don't want them to be confused thinking that there's another animal in their tank when there isn't. Hi, sweetheart. You enjoying your new home? It's nice and clean, huh? Yeah, baby. This girl is doing so great. I'm talking. She's doing great. You wouldn't think so, but just literally a few days ago, I fed her. I fed her and, and Zeus. Zeus, I gave him a quail, and she got a, uh, a weaned rat. She's still on weaned rats. She hasn't really upgraded, you know, to a bigger size yet. She's still young, you know. She's she's much smaller than Zeus, and she's much smaller than Nina. Nina, on the other hand, she just got through shedding out. Like, uh, last week, I noticed that she was in shed, and, um, like, caught me by surprise. Because I wasn't really expecting her to shed. See, Zeus shed, and then like two days later, I, I fed um, I fed Nina and Charlie because Zeus was in shed. Nina got a quail, and it was like two days, like maybe two days after that, I noticed that she was in shed. Her eyes were all milky, and uh, you know, so from that moment on, 
I just uh, I made sure that the humidity was up. And when I say I made sure the humidity the humidity was up, three times a day I sprayed down the tank, really sprayed it, and really tried to make sure that the humidity was up past 70 to 70% basically the entire time that she was in shed. Now, if you have an animal that's in shed and say you've had issues with this animal shedding in the past, bump up the humidity, add some moss into the tank, you know, put some moss like around the water bowl. Yeah, I'll show you as I'm explaining a little bit easier and especially saying that I have her out of her tank ready okay so this is her water tank and right around her water dish there is moss I put moss okay and I would spray down her tank you know the entire thing about two or three times a day you know average about three times a day and like I said, when they're, when they're all milky, when they're all cloudy like that, you want to make sure that the heat, well, no, not the heat, the humidity is up high. That's how you're going to get them to shed like that, full sheds. So far, knock on wood, this girl here, this is Nina, for anybody out there that does not know. So far, knock on wood, both her, Zeus, they have not had any stuck shed. None whatsoever. Check out Zeus. He is getting big. Like, he's getting big. He's, he's very girthy. I just redid all of their tanks all over. Clean them out. Them all. Um... Echo, well, there he is down there. Now, I didn't do his tank today. If anything, I added that thing into the tank today. But, um, I forget when it was, uh, like a week ago, almost a week ago. I went down to Home Depot, picked up some, uh, some topsoil and some, some play sand. And basically, I used that for the substrate in the gecko's tank. Oh, sorry, I gotta fix the camera. So yeah, that's what's been going on. You know, everybody's doing great. Everybody's eating, everybody's shedding, you know, shedding in one piece, which is great too, because like you know, I'm making jewelry, which I've been wearing, you know, I got to rock my own stuff, but um, it's been great that they've been shedding in one piece because it, it gives me full sheds to work with, you know, when making the jewelry. Um, yeah, you know, so I, I basically wanted to do this video to talk about adding enrichment into your animals terrarium. Also, um, anybody out there? that it knows anything about scorpions please inbox me contact me let's talk because i have not been able to get this guy to eat for me now i mean i haven't been able to get him to eat like from me like from the tongs now i've put i've put crickets in the tank i've put mealworms in the tank i've put superworms in the tank roaches even hornworms. And I like to believe that he's eating it because after I put them in the tank, it's like I'm not seeing them after that. Unless they're burrowing under the substrate, finding a place to live, finding a place to hide. That's the only thing I can think of. Unless he's eating it in the dark because scorpions are nocturnal. And I'm not going to lie, you know, because I've been having issues getting them to feed, getting them to eat for me, I've actually been thinking about getting rid of them, you know. So if anybody out there is interested in a scorpion, please inbox me, let me know. 
Uh, you could have obviously him. You could have the, the hides that I have in the tank farm. You could have everything except for the tank. I need the tank. You know, I need the tank that way there. You know, if you know, I can help out another another animal that might need help. But um, yeah, I'll actually I'll show you his tank real quick before I finish this video off. Because now that I have Charlie out, kind of have to keep an eye on her, and it's difficult to well, keep an eye on her and well record whatever. So this is his tank. That is a live plant, that's real, that's live. Now, there is some substrate down there. And look, there's the freaking roach. That, there's the roach, but the hornworm is nowhere to be found, which the hornworm was right over here. So, you see, I like to believe that he's eaten these things. As you can see, there's crickets running around in there. He does like to hide under that hide right there. There's the, uh, you can't see it. Okay, the humidity is a little low, almost 45%, but the heat is uh, 90. So scorpions, they need high humidity. Just like pythons, just like snakes. Okay, so to anybody out there that didn't know that, boom, now you do. See, learn something new every day. But me, I'm no expert. I'm not. And I don't portray myself to be. I don't like to think I am at all. So guys, that'll do it for this video. If you can, please um, hit that like button. Check out any other videos that are down there. Um, click on this playlist. Check out the playlist that's, it, that's there. It'll really help me out a lot. You know, I'm working on a few things and, you know, places, people that I'm talking to. They really don't want to work with me right now because my views are too low. It's not necessarily the subscribers are low, but the views. So I was told once I get more views, these places are willing to work with me. So I need your guys' help. So if you can, you know, check out another video. Maybe share this on your Facebook, share it on your Instagram. Help me out, please. I appreciate it very much. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a great night. Have a safe weekend, okay? And remember, take a second, be kind to somebody, okay? You never know what people are going through nowadays, all right? I promise I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.